Another, um, I guess our last presenter today, but really ties in hand in hand, VSU is, um, has just a great program called the Small Farm Outreach Program, and they do lots of great work. I think out of all the presenters today, I think this one's probably going to probably be the most impactful for a lot of you who are just getting started to have ideas out there and trying to see which direction to go. Uh, Bill Crutchfield is the director of that, been here a long time. Bill's not able to be with us today, but Austin Hillier is his assistant director. He's going to be here to share a little bit about the Small Farm Outreach Program. So Austin, come on up. Big hand. All right. There you go. Thank you for the welcome. And again, guys, uh, Mr. Crutchfield sends his regards for not being able to be here to present to you guys. Again, my name is Austin Hilliard. I'm the assistant director here uh, at the Small Farm Outreach Program. Um, today, I'm not going to tell you all about what we do here at the Small Farm Outreach Program because I want you to, to sign up and, uh, <laughs> and, and get involved with our program. So I, I don't want to tell you everything in that way. You say, I got the information. So let's dive right into it. Uh, I'm going to talk about how we are creating innovative ways to reach producers, OK? Um, so here's a, just a few pictures of some of the events that take place within a uh, small farm outreach program, um, field days, some of the work that we're doing, beef cattle. Um, up there, it shows how we work with Cooperative Extension, even though we are part of Cooperative Extension, but more importantly, uh, how we work with the specialists to help deliver solid programming, um, as well as uh, that field on the bottom left. That we uh, also operate out of the Carver Center up in the Culpeper area, um, and we do a lot of work with the Minority Veteran Piedmont group. Um, small engine repair, um, and then we partner a lot with Dr. O'Brien um, on some small ruminant workshops across the state. And then, of course, that's a drone. Uh, I want to be very clear. We do not do any applications for producers. We just bring forth information on how this uh, technology is being used in agriculture. So about us, um, started back in 1986 as a pilot program with just a limited number of staff um, and now we're up to a little over 30 individuals just housed under the small farm outreach program um, our mission is to provide outreach training and technical assistance to small limited resource social disadvantaged veteran beginning farmers and ranchers so they can make informed decisions about their farm businesses that's a long mission statement. Our mission is to help small farmers, not just stay small farmers, but to build sustainable farm business systems so that they can grow and impact the communities that they live in however they so choose, okay? So we don't wanna just say, okay, you're a new beginner farmer, you wanna qualify as a small farmer, and we want you to stay a small farmer. No, we just want to be able to provide the resources um, and, and inner work and interchange our networks um, so that, you know, provide you with everything you need uh, to be sustainable. So, uh, something hot. So prior to the, pod pri prior to the pandemic, um, we used to hold in-person workshops on agribusiness uh, financial planning classes. Um, this was a license, we are a licensed vendor through FSA, so if you don't have uh, three years of prior experience um, and have the cash flows and all of that information to back up, you can still apply for um, loans through FSA. Um, but post-pandemic and through the pandemic, this has uh, challenged us to be more innovative and creative on how we're still going to push this out. So this spring, we launched the online agribusiness production and financial management course. It's approximately seven modules. Um, after completing the course, 
you will receive a certificate. Now, not only is it certified through uh, FSA and the state officer here in Virginia, but I believe two months ago, we are now nationally certified. So this will allow, now that we're on that online platform, it will allow small producers, beginning producers, uh, that access to those loans um, across the whole United States. Um, more information on how to um, sign up for this agribusiness uh, class is on the Small Farm Resource Center's website, vsusmallfarms.com. Um, you'll also see that link towards the end of the presentation. Um, and if you have any issues with that course, um, after you've signed up, it'll link you to one, uh, a program assistant that is uh, heading up that project as well as an administrative assistant out of this office that can help direct any questions. Text message and alerts. Um, that, that's something new. Um, it can be annoying to s several individuals depending on where you're getting the alerts from. Um, I know if it's an alert from a, a lending agency, you might put it in your back pocket or put it on silent. But um, no, th these text messages and alerts um, is something that we thought would be another uh, innovative resource to uh, let you guys know what's available, let you guys know uh, when those field days are coming up, when those bus tours uh, we're putting on, or you know even how we're working with other uh, agencies. We also um, partner with other agencies to produce and market their uh, sessions, workshops, seminars, events, and things of that nature. Um, again, right now, <coughs> we are doing all of the sign up on that small farm resource center, um, specifically because it's not a questionnaire, but it does ask you uh, what county do you live in. So that right there would allow us to do uh, kind of more target marketing. Um, if we're doing some workshops in the Southwest, um, we'll be able to look at some counties surrounding that area and direct, you know, send out those text messages alerts uh, to those producers and individuals. Um, next. Thank you. So next is our new farm orientation online class. Um, that is coming soon. Currently, um, it's hosted once a month. Um, and this month and from now on, it'll be hosted by um, our program assistant out of the Tidewater area, Ben Dukes, as well as uh, our new onboard uh, program assistant who's in the Central Virginia area. Uh, Derek Gooden. Um, once a month, they put on a, a new farmer orientation class that serves as a resource um, and provides pretty much a beginning farmer checklist. Um, you know, have you went to get your farm number? Um, there's a section in there about whole farm planning. Um, they also talk about succession planning when it comes to uh, vegetable producers, um, harvesting and post harvest options. Um, and then we've also pulled together material from the different agencies, local, state, federal, as well as private, who has additional resources in those different areas um, to kind of sort of pull together a full uh, beginning farmer checklist and orientation class, um, as well as value added and marketing. So this even though right now it's not online, we are currently working with the tech-savvy individuals uh, on building those modules. And hopefully, we can launch that at the beginning of 2024. So again, these are some key links. Um, that top link is that it, that's our small farm outreach page that's hosted on the VSU uh, website network. Uh, 
The second link is the Small Farm Resource Center. Um, and then, of course, my contact information. Just this morning, I made sure that my office number is directly forwarded to my cell phone because, like Dr. Woods, I am hardly ever in my office. Um, I fly out to Colorado tomorrow to do some more work related to beginning farmers and ranchers. So, any questions? Just hold off on that. Well, I think we'll do. Just give off the hand. Thank you.